Thermal cameras are great for law enforcement because you don't have to leave cover to search an area that's dark. You don't have to light it up with a flashlight. You can stand back, nobody knows you're there, and you can search an area really well with one, looking for heat signatures and those kind of things. Thermal cameras are great for tracking somebody. May not be able to see that person, but you can actually see sometimes heat signatures on the ground of where they went through. It gives a direction to go. You know, if we get to an area and you're looking through a huge field or a huge forest, that's a long place to look. You can stand back, use the thermal camera, look and say, okay, we need to go that direction, or we think they've gone in this direction. And again, you're not lighting that area up, letting the person know, okay, here I come, here I am. You turn that flashlight on, they know exactly where you are. With a thermal camera, you can stand there, look all over the place, find that person, and they have no idea that you're looking for them. Thermal cameras are great for rescue and search things. So you can rule out an area, you can narrow down an area. Yeah, we need to search over this way because we're seeing heat signatures here. We're not seeing anything over there. Again, you don't have to set up lights. You don't have to have a helicopter overhead. You can see a large area and say, okay, we're seeing heat signatures in this direction. That's the way we need to go. If you have a suspect that's hiding in a house or out in a wooded area, you can get a thermal image of where that person is. Even if they're hiding behind a closet door or a chair in a house, you're still gonna see the glow of that heat coming from behind that chair. You may not see the person, but you're gonna see the glow of that heat. So they're wonderful for pinpointing on, okay, there's something over in that direction. We need to see what that is. Uh, otherwise you're walking around a house blind.